How can we disinfect water for domestic use in remote, isolated places in Africa and in sustainable, affordable ways? African and European scientists are working together to try to provide answers to that question. They think that one solution could be this small pilot water treatment plant currently being installed in southern Mozambique. Mozambique is one of 16 sub-Saharan countries belonging to the Southern African Development Community. Around 40% of the community's population has no access to safe water. That's around 130 million people. And this small town near the border with South Africa illustrates the gravity and urgency of the situation. Right now, 14,000 people live in this town, Resano Garcia. Not all of them have access to drinking water. So they turn to the river. But the water in this river is not treated. So when it reaches the households, it causes diarrhea and other waterborne diseases. Contaminated water can also spread diseases like cholera, dysentery, typhoid or polio, even though here diarrhoea is the most common. The local health centre takes care of some 500 patients every day. Around 10% of them suffer from diarrhoea. One of the reasons for most cases of diarrhoea and diarrhoea-related diseases is the quality of water. It is very, very clear that the better water people have access to, the greater the improvement in the health of the entire population would be. Providing safe water is the aim of this pilot unit being installed on the premises of the town's decaying water treatment plant. The prototype was designed to degrade harmful pollutants like pesticides and neutralize microbes and pathogens. It uses a technology called electrochemical oxidization that produces ozone in the polluted water. The ozone acts as a cleaning agent. The station is able to treat the water over very different processes, coagulation, decantation and different phases of filtration. The system creates ozone in the water. This ozone is a characteristic of high quality of the water. It effectively cleans the water. Our studies have shown that this system is able to clean between 80 and 90 percent of all dirt in the water. Forty kilometers south of Johannesburg in South Africa, researchers had previously installed a bigger pilot plant using similar technology. The plant filters and cleans water from a nearby polluted river and an adjacent treatment plant. Both this plant and Mozambique's small disinfection unit are part of a European Union research project aimed at providing safer water to rural and peri-urban African populations in efficient and affordable ways. The maximum capacity per hour is 1,300 litres per hour. So in total, we try to clean at least 10,000 litres per day, which is drinkable, which is not harmful to human health and can be used for domestic purposes as much as well as um, irrigational purposes. The disinfection system is based on a special type of metal electrode. Once filtered, the polluted water comes into contact with these electrodes. They then create the ozone that neutralizes the germs. From the O2, we're going to have another oxygen added, then we're going to have O3. O3 is the ozone, which is being produced with only the water and the electricity. Then after that, it reacts with the water to kill the microorganisms, your pathogens, uh, cleaning, uh, making the water to be much more cleaner.
Researchers want each station to be autonomous and built with as many African-made and green materials as possible. We said we were not going to use uh, any chemicals for the disinfection process. Um, the reason for that being is that it's difficult, uh, especially if, uh, if we want to roll it out into rural communities um, where their access to, to chemicals is, uh, is very limited. This research effort is developed as part of the Horizon 2020 programme. The programme's international cooperation strategy aims to tackle global environmental and societal challenges using a partnership approach between European and local researchers. The quality of the water in both South Africa and Mozambique turned out to be much worse than scientists had expected, especially due to the massive presence of fecal compounds. So researchers had to develop a system designed to guarantee an efficient pretreatment of that water to facilitate its later disinfection. It was here in central Spain where the technology was developed. Chemical engineers here soon understood that polluted water had to be extensively cleansed of organic compounds before any electrochemical process could be efficiently applied. From a technical point of view, pretreatment technologies are physical chemical processes. The aim is to separate the organic materials suspended in the water before the water can be disinfected inside a reactor, where the water can get dirty again, eventually creating serious operational problems to the whole disinfection process. Researchers designed different kinds of pretreatment systems until striking the right solution for the particular water quality and socio-economic conditions in both Mozambique and South Africa. Then the final system was scaled up. The coagulant that we are using is a kind of iron salt, so we add this iron salt to the water that, as you see here, becomes brown. The process turns the organic compounds into much bigger chunks that up here in a decanter we can separate much more easily. If you try to disinfect water which is heavily polluted with fecal compounds, the electrochemical process will be very, very expensive. That's why we decided to include some pretreatment of the water that could keep the disinfection costs down. And that's not all. Along with an inexpensive process, we also tried to use materials that were really low cost. And it was here at this research centre in Germany where the disinfection technology was developed with the helping hand of an unexpected material, diamond-based film. Electrodes used to clean the water are built from a metal called niobium. The metal is coated with diamond-based film. Another chemical element, boron, provides the conductivity necessary for the whole technology to work a lengthy, complex chemical process that requires the use of furnaces at a temperature of 2,500 degrees Celsius. With these electronic microscopes, we can control the surface of a diamond electrode. These diamonds, which you can see here, are four microns long, which is the right size for the application we are looking for. The electronic microscope also helps us to see the rugosity of the layer and to check if the expected crystals have occurred during the process. And we can also check if there are any gaps in the surface and if the adhesion is sufficient or not. The resulting electrodes are then activated by electricity to start disinfecting the water. Researchers say they designed the whole process to be as energy efficient as possible.
das ist das, was die Diamantelektrode macht. The diamond electrodes can create ozone with a very high electric tension and with 100% efficiency in the use of electricity. We directly create ozone and not oxygen. It would be a waste of energy to create oxygen, as it would only float away without helping the cleaning process. Back in Mozambique, the small town of Rosano Garcia needs some 1,600 cubic meters of water per day to cover the basic needs of its growing population. Researchers say they designed the small pilot unit to help meet that demand and set an example for other remote, isolated small towns and villages in Africa. The main advantages are the flexibility and mobility of these small units. Even in remote, isolated places, the units can be easily installed. Our main aim is to obtain water that, once consumed by the population, does not create any public health problems. Our final objective is to improve the health of the people. According to the World Health Organization, 1.8 billion people around the world still drink water from a source contaminated with feces. Reducing that number, scientists at this project say, is the ultimate goal of their research.